Alrighty, so I just got back from flying the drone today at Canada's Wonderland and of course there's really not much going on at the park because I don't know if you've noticed, we're in the middle of a pandemic. So nonetheless, there's been absolutely nothing going on with Mindbuster. Um, we did see some sort of movement over in Kingswood um, and believe it or not, uh, we just learned a new feature with our drone where we're able to zoom in significantly further than we did before with um, so a huge enhancement to the quality. So we practiced um, some cool techniques with the drone today. I was able to actually make out details in Kingswood's actual theater. We're able to watch the construction over near the hospital from this far away. Um, I'm not gonna do any of that today just because I'm practicing with it right now, but boy, when you see what we were able to do uh, with the drone today, you're gonna be absolutely blown away. So I'm super excited to show you guys that um, because we're able to make out boxes with stickers on them in Kingswood Theater from this far back. Um, so super exciting. Uh, we were looking around front gate, looking for any of that, which brings me to the interesting topic. So there's nothing going on at Canada's Wonderland. So I decided I'm gonna talk about Canada's Wonderland's opening. So for those of you that have been paying attention, there's been lots of articles, lots of news on Canada's Wonderland aiming to open up May 14th, I believe it is. May 14th or May 22nd. Dates are all mixed up now. We're opening sometime in May, that's their goal. Um, and a lot of people are super excited. Wonderland also has just started hiring. They started onboarding, onboarding previous employees. So all really great, exciting news on paper. And the reason I haven't done uh, any videos this year so far on it is for those of you that know, I was very confident Wonderland was gonna open last season because you know they had plans to, they were training, they were hiring, they were testing the rides, everything looked great. And I was being super optimistic about it. Well, <laughs> that's changed. So I don't wanna go through that whole year again where you know I'm super excited, Wonderland's gonna open, this, this, and that, and make all these videos on it. I'm gonna be a little more realistic. I honestly don't know and don't see Wonderland opening early May at this current moment. Um, there's that new variant going around and it's a lot stronger than the current variant. And as a country, we are really lacking on uh, leadership in terms of getting the vaccine out and getting the vaccine uh, into our country, let alone getting it out. So the, I honestly think that based off of what I've seen, we're gonna continue to struggle getting uh, the vaccine into our country and into people's arms, which is a step into opening up. Now, with last summer, cases were extremely low. We were below 100 cases a day in Ontario, and they still didn't open Wonderland. And that does leave me thinking that they will do the same to Wonderland that they did last year. We saw the head of tourism, hate her, um, <laughs> tweet out against Wonderland opening at this current moment, saying, whoa, well, whoa, well, whoa, well, it's too early to call. So nothing's really been um, showing me that, like, there's a difference this year than last year. And that's why I'm hesitant to celebrate and get super excited and i just want to look at it in a more realistic way instead of just completely hopping on the bandwagon of yeah wonderland's gonna open i want wonderland to open and i will fight for wonderland to open as long as it makes sense to do so i do trust science over anything and if there is a rise in cases in the summer then i will not be on board with wonderland opening but if the same thing happened last summer where there's extremely low cases below 100 a day and other attractions are open like niagara falls blue mountain then it just makes sense that Wonderland should open. Even some of my friends are starting to discuss that aren't enthusiasts like, hey, if Blue Mountain's able to operate their ski lifts now in the middle of some of our worst numbers, like if ski resorts are just given the green light in the gray zone to operate ski lifts, you know, people can get food, use the washrooms, and they're out and about, then Wonderland most certainly should be able to open in a much safer outdoor environment uh, in the summertime. Uh, with a lot of precautions. So yes, again, there's a huge amount of hypocrisy in our province in terms of what can and when can open. I'm not gonna get into that yet. I am prepared to get into that though. Um, and I know there's people that watch my videos that make decisions based on this. So <sighs> yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna shut up and I'm ready uh, to make some noise if I do feel the need or if I do feel it is safe to make some noise. But nonetheless, I am I am excited and I really am hopeful that Wonderland does open in May. Uh, I am 
somewhat doubtful that they'll open in May. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Again, <laughs> I just wanted to release some up-to-date drone footage. It's very seldom that I do now. It's like once a week or once every other week that I upload drone footage. There's nothing much to show. But some of you still really enjoy looking at the park. I mean, like, it's, uh, we miss it. It's been, like, over a year now since some of us have been there. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of upsetting. So, if you're like me, then probably really enjoy just even staring at Wonderland. So, I totally understand. I will try and get out once a week at minimum to even just film Wonderland and some sort of thing and just go on maybe one of these mini rants that I just did about Wonderland's opening. Um, anyways, thanks so much for supporting the channel and watching this video. Hopefully you guys have a really awesome weekend. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm really in need of this weekend myself. So I'm super excited for it and hopefully you guys have an amazing weekend. Thanks so much for watching the channel. I don't think I actually say that enough, um, but thank you so much and have a good one guys, bye.